So we have a dry, mostly dry track condition for now. What will it be when they get up the hill to turn one? here going for the lead they were five wide in the back Cindric Byron here comes Allmendinger in the Gallic car that's that road course experience and knowing grip levels and what they can get away with and more importantly what they cannot get away with yeah look at them starting to slide around I'm telling you that rain is coming down Austin Cindric a little wide Michael McDowell, some of those that stayed out on those wet tires, boy, you got to take care of them right now. Be very, very careful because it's not going to be long. I believe these drivers are going to be on pit road to get those wet tires. To turn 10 and coming down the hill to 11 and the first of those hairpin turns. Down to first gear. Will it break? Will it stick? Will it turn? So far, so good, Mike. I'm shocked. <laughs> I think everybody is surprised right now at how much grip these slicks have on a damp track that is not just fully covered with water. I right. think we're okay for now. That's just locking up those rear tires as he's trying and to down. There's another one. Now the front tires are locked up. Now here's the one that uh, brings out the caution. It's not running. Yeah, I was going to say, you know, I believe that wheel hop has... Oh, there. Oh, you can see he's... It's, yes. it's locked in gear, Locked I in between gears. Over the time, that... I, oh, oh. the Hamlin off course. Look, it's no traction in that paint at all. I don't when think there's much traction and, and you, anywhere. And you got to be real careful going over the curbs, too, in these conditions. For the lead. Ooh, see right there, that sort of drew Michael McDowell in to try to get, get into that break. It's a little bit heavier. Slight lock up and went wide and allowed Joey Logano to take the lead. In the stage. Well, this is when it's a benefit of a lap that takes two, over two and a half seconds to get around. This guy's had more time to clean, uh, fix that damage as Joey Logano is going to pick up that stage one win. Third stage win of the season for Joey Logano and his first ever on a road race course. With McDowell second, Kurt Busch third. Kyle Larson, Austin Sindrick, the top five. There's Chris Buescher again, sixth place. Briscoe, Chastain, Kyle Busch, and DiBenedetto to get the last stage point. Of the 12, Ryan Blaney. Third caution of the day for Christopher Bell, who is out of his Joe Gibbs Toyota. And Bubba Wallace. Bubba Wallace. Wallace. So this could have been a three-car jam session, all in the same place. Oh, and oh, Kevin, Kevin Harvick. Harvick. We've had heavy damage to Harvick. My goodness. I mean, he's got front and rear damage. That car is tore up. a long time since you've seen that four car tore up. Left rear's down. He's just trying to hop back and you know, get to pit road in one piece. So let's start with what happened to Harvick. Down the back straightaway, see Eric Jones is inside, no visibility here, starting to slow down, getting in the corner. No, we're not even to the corner, he lifted oh. because of that. Yeah, you know he, what happened? He let off early because he didn't know where the braking zone was, had no visibility, and see, and and ran ran over the back of him. Absolutely. Wow. Now, Ryan Blaney. Okay, so Blaney goes wide here, goes off. He's oh, already, he already had the Yeah, he was part of that. Now, because we don't have clear camera shots of those incidents, what we do have is GPS in each car and uh, our Fox CSI technology <laughs> to show you where each car was at which moment. So here is Ryan Blaney slowing. And we believe he's slowing because of poor visibility down that back straightaway before they got to the braking zone. And Christopher Bell gets into the back of him. 
Now trailing the play is Kevin Harvick in the midst of all this mist. Well, I believe his spotter more than likely came on the radio, told him an incident was ahead of him. He starts to slow down, also couldn't see it. And Bubba Wallace, no idea that Kevin Harvick's checking up, runs right in the back of him. Bam! That takes me right back to what we talked about with Chase Elliott before this race. Chase said, I want to be out of the lane in front of me. I don't want to be in the wake of that car for those cars. I'll tell you another guy that's on the move is Austin Sendrick. Oh, 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 we got another one. Is that the 19? Yep. Same oh, situation. Oh, wow. Same right situation. under him. Oh, and into the wall. It was the 40. Oh, my gosh. Cole Custer. Nowhere to go there. Big fire. He had uh, a big impact. Luckily, seeing him get out of the race car right now because that was a big impact to that inside barrier. He can and our he safety can crew that. is there right away, but he just submarined the 19 of Martin Truex there. Yeah, I, I bet we're going to go back and see a very similar situation with Martin Truex Jr. and the visibility down that back straightaway. I think once the field gets strung out, Mike, I think I think the visibility will improve. But on these restarts, when there's cars Three stacked around wide, one yeah. another. And that's a great point. Look how far that uh, rear end is shoved forward uh, by Cole Custer's car. I thought that 19 of Truex was going to go upside down there as yep. hard as he got hit by Cole Custer. So already an issue, I believe, here, or maybe not. No, no, no not up. yet. Oh, oh somebody oh, checked the 34, up right there. McDowell yep. checks up. Truex gets into him, and he's slowing down, and here comes Cole Custer through to the inside. Nowhere to go. Has no idea. Mark Just. Truex Jr.'s had damage. Now, that right, thank goodness there's a little bit of a safer barrier. Well, is that a That's safer a foam barrier. Yeah. It's a foam, foam wall. Barrier. Yes. Thank goodness that was there instead of just hitting that Armco barrier. He's going to have to have his elbows up. So Kyle Busch will win the stage. Chase Elliott will be second. Reddick comes off the corner for third. Sindrick fourth. Fifth to Corey LaJoy. And then it's a scrum. Look at this. For sixth on back. Larson's going to get it from Priest. He held one off. <laughs> or all, the rest of them. I guess one got it. You want to miss the same? Sorry. <laughs> so Almendinger, Briscoe, and Bowman get the final stage points in stage number two. You know, Mike, back Whoa. to Austin. Oh, Kurt Bush. Whoa. Wow. Off the break, off the break, off the break. There's your caution. Thread the needle and out of sight. Yeah, no gas. He did a great good. job of gassing it and getting to Keep the dirt. Keep it going, man. Don't Keep stop, it go. don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. This looks like a Monster Energy commercial to me. Oh, look and at that. Maybe it is. Thread the needle. Great yeah. job by Kurt Busch right there. Come on. Incredible yeah, car control yeah, and heads up driving to get over there to the dirt and get out of the gravel. There is Chase Elliott, and he is the winner of the Echo Park Texas Grand Prix. Due to inclement weather, the race has been called with 14 to go. <laughs> Bill Elliott was right. Yeah, he was. And Chase Elliott wins. Here's Regan. Chase Elliott, uh, certainly a unique celebration. You get to celebrate this one with your team right away, Chase. Doesn't seem to matter the conditions. If it's a road course, you're going to find your way up front. Your sixth road course win, 12th career victory. Yeah, man, it couldn't be more excited. Uh, I've never won a rain race before, so it's kind of cool. Um, and just super proud of, of our team for just continuing to fight. Kind of started the day, it weren't very good, and uh, just kept kept pushing myself, uh, kept making some good changes throughout the day, and got to where I thought we were on pace with those guys there at the end. So really proud of that. Um, you know, it's not the greatest thing ever to you know for it to rain uh, to, to have a rain race uh win if it's your first one but i think you know it's okay if it's down the road um so i'm i'm pretty excited about that and uh looking forward to uh looking forward to next week and trying to keep it rolling i, I got to ask you about the end of the race you were a couple laps short on fuel alan told you to start pushing you picked up the pace incredibly at the end you were two seconds quicker than anybody in the field right there what'd you do different 
Uh, just I just kept pushing myself harder and harder. There was some areas on track that were getting actually really treacherous, I felt like. You know, the back straightaway was puddling up, and you were starting to hydroplane and do some weird stuff. So um, my only option was to just kind of send it through those spots and hope for the best. So. Uh, like I said, just really proud of our team. Uh, two in a row for Hendrick Motorsports. I think this is win number 800. 800, Jim? Yeah, 800th win for uh, for Chevrolet. Uh, it couldn't be more proud of, of Chevy. Jim Campbell here. Thanks for being here. And um, yeah, 268 for, for HMS. So just uh, thanks for all the fans for hanging in there today. Uh, great to have Unifirst on the car this week. Get our first win together. And I know everybody's used to seeing us in our Napa colors, but uh, good to have them on board. And uh, like I said, just proud of our team. We've kind of had an up and down year to come here and to fight. Not the ideal way to win, but we'll definitely take it and uh, move on down the road. Chase Elliott, your inaugural winner at Circuit of the Americas. Sixth road course win for Chase Elliott in his 14th start on a road course in the Cup Series. For more great NASCAR on Fox content, subscribe to our channel. It's somewhere right around here.